uh, fish river tangent, and then we proceed to Sosofle, mm -hmm. to Swakuman, mm -hmm. and then Itosha, to Waterford uh, Plateau, to the um, capital <coughs> Binho, and then off to um, Mao, I think it's pronounced as Mao, I'm not so sure. Okay, the Okavangu Delta, to Shobe National Park, and to Big Falls. So that is basically the bulk of the um, camping safari. It's about three weeks. So as said, um, Cape Town and Cape Town actually um, the accommodation is on my own. Um, Swakoma is the only two nights where I actually have a proper bed to sleep, and the rest are all camping, right? So just um, some facts about uh, Namibia. It was um, the Wapi place was the British were the one that arrived in. Namibia first, they annexed it in 1878. At the time, they decided that um, looking at the geography of Namibia and the coastline, what we explained is the only place perhaps is worth uh, occupying because it has a very natural deep uh, what, uh, coastline for harbour and it looks like it's the only um, uh, viable location for port to protect their trading route by the Cape of Good Hope over the, the, uh, the so-called uh, Africa. Then the German came and took over uh, the current um, geographical map of uh, the current uh, so-called area of Namibia. And then uh, after World War I, um, Namibia was actually annexed to, mandated to South Africa, which is under the British colony at the time. They only gave independence in 1990, but Wabi's Bay was only handed over to Namibia uh, independent uh, government in 1995. All right, then um, in terms of population, it's only 2.1 million. It's one of the least uh, populated country in the world after Mongolia, not counting uh, Greenland, which is not technically not a sovereign country. So majority of people are, are white, uh, sorry, black, and then um, English and German is widely spoken there. 